Dun -dun -dun. Season one, one, episode three. No, I'm twenty. You've got a wife and kid. No, I'm single. You like curry. No, I like ramen. All right, this kid's just lying. Everyone likes curry. She got everything wrong. That idol's so young. There's no way he's got a wife and kid. Right. I was thinking that too. Guess that one. Is this Momo's grandmother? Might as well run it. Good ratings. Anyone watches local shows like this anyway. This will be the best ratings the show's ever had. Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> if you're looking for a reaction or you want someone to pay attention to you, or on social media if you want to drive comments or, or any kind of engagement, the secret is emotion. Critically, any emotion. Hate, anger, disappointment about watching the dub over the sub. Revulsion. It works, and it's actually a valid strategy if you can stomach it, which is tougher than it sounds. But people do use this successfully as a strategy. And I don't know, based on looking at the comments of these videos, if the commenters are aware that it's deliberate or not. Relatedly, a great way to get comments is to make a mistake, which doesn't mean it's mean-spirited necessarily. It could be with the best of intentions and just with the goal of being helpful. It just creates a very clear pathway to, to a comment. And there's a certain element that are like looking for opportunities to like tisk tisk and bring you down. Maybe we'll get new characters this episode. Finally, I'm waiting forever. Do you really have psychic powers or is it just an act? Drop me here. I'll walk. Uh, huh? Okay, I thought she was gonna roll for a second there. I was hoping for a prediction or a <laughs> you'll die if you don't leave. Oh, that's dark. Oh yeah, we left them in this state. No weenies here. Sorry, Granny. Oh, this is this is already buried Jujutsu Kaisen. First I thought you brought home another scumbag. It is Granny. It turns out this one ain't even human. Swear to God. Granny's super but young sounding and young young looking in places. Damn, Granny's a badass. Should have guessed. Oh, that's Granny, the smoking one. So what's the deal? Is Granny a total fraud? Maybe it's part of her master plot, her master plan. I'm inclined to give Granny the benefit of the doubt because I think that that idol was full of crap. He's definitely married. I mean, he's an idol, so even if he was married, he couldn't admit it. Yeah, I'm doubling down on this. I'm putting my faith in Granny. It's going to be revealed that the idol has a wife and kids, loves curry. I mean, obviously, that's the easiest one to spot. I forgot the other one. <laughs> Episode three, Grandma and Grandma. Oh, you're a speedy little jerk. Yeah, I mean, clearly Grandma has experience fighting demons, ghosts, whatever. If you step foot out of that circle, you'll die. It's a very <laughs> lo-fi domain. Do something. Do something about it. When I get out, I'm gonna eat you alive. Yeah, only once you get out. <laughs> Could it be that easy? Okay, does this kill Ken also? Being fast doesn't help you much in that barrier, does it? Alright, she's enjoying this a little bit too much. I think she had a bad day. Okay, uh, Momo, someone. Did Ken Takakura just die? I need to talk to you about something kind of important. Oh, don't worry, I handle it. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> this Pakatono is a national treasure. Stop watching that and listen! And stop lying down like that. <laughs> What's your problem? I thought you didn't believe in ghosts and stuff like that. Besides, I'm a fake, remember? Yeah, this is not at all what I pictured Granny to be like. I was picturing like a older lady who was deeply pious and spiritual, not like chain smoking, revealing clothes, wearing sexy pose, lying, drama watching, foul mouth, <laughs> cleavage showing, 80 going on 19, bandana wearing, prickly grandma. Don't believe that stuff. There are no ghosts. Take it from a fake medium. Hmm, I'm picking up some baggage in this household. My psychic powers. I apologize. I was wrong and I admit it. Now please, tell me what you did with the evil spirit. This is a real test for Grandma. Go to the main shrine. She could have made her pay right there. He was just a guy that was into the paranormal. He just wanted a friend. This is my She's really sweet. She's I like a really nice person. That tunnel. I'm sorry, Okaroon. Okaroon! Oh, he's fine. She even fed him. <laughs> That's good. You poor-eyed freak! You're still alive! Man, this is so annoying. You gotta feel relieved though, right? What was the point in lying to me and saying you killed him? Freaked you out for a sec, didn't it? Just was wanted to see your reaction. To? Hell no! This, like, turbo granny stole his peen. And she said he was gonna stay cursed till he got it back. 
whole thing's messed up. I think we know what we have to do. I mean, I think it was clear what we had to do from the beginning. <laughs> like, there's no mystery what the quest was there. At least for Ken Takaraka. Nothing else really matters. I went somewhere and saw a UFO. Something happened and now I got these powers. Interesting, but UFOs ain't real. Yeah, I thought Here we so go too. again. Till yesterday, when I saw aliens. I saw a lot of aliens. I saw way too much of the aliens. So Turbo Granny's got her hooks in the kid. She's a real pain in the ass, let me tell you. Oh, so you know her. Way back when, she was called the 100 kilometers an hour granny. And she used to rampage all over the country. Stealing weenies. I went to check it out for myself. That explains some of the bitterness, perhaps. It's a spirit that stays in one location that it's got a strong attachment to. And of all the spirits in their territory, they're the strongest. They're so strong, no spirit medium can hope to fight them. Mob did it. Granny doing a great job hyping up a character from a different anime that a character from this anime looks a whole lot like. It's cool that it intuitively makes so much sense that the, the bound spirits are the most powerful or are super strong. It's like with people who have really dug into something, it feels like there's just no reaching them. You can't win, you can only leave. Don't you go back there. Last thing I want is to lose you to that. I don't think Momo is what Turbo Granny's looking for. Times like this, I wonder, what would the Ken I love do? When I'm confused and can't decide, I ask myself that, and I always pick right. That's cool. If Ken had to choose, he'd step up and help. And that's what I'm gonna do. It's like me and Deku. What's cool about that, though, is that it's not this actor. Who knows what the actor's like? She's basing this not on the actor, but on the characters the actor plays. Really, it's just like a mirror she's holding up where she can see her own conscience. It's kind of cool how that works. There are these psychological checks you can run that are weirdly effective in ways that are hard to understand. Like, if you're stuck in something like a reasoning loop, one way to check yourself is to explain your reasoning loop to someone whose opinion you really respect. What's cool is you don't even always need to go that far. You can just imagine yourself explaining your mental loop to that person whose opinion you really respect a lot of the time with very similar results. You can also try writing it down and coming back to it in a day or a week or whatever as sort of a new person. I mean, in my experience, sometimes even midway through writing it the first time, I'm like, this is ridiculous. Hey kid, she's totally in love with you. Congrats. No, I was talking about Ken the actor, the actor! If you're gonna help, we'll need a plan. <laughs> she was all in. She needed no convincing. You'll have to lure Turbo Granny outside the city limits without getting caught. And once she's out of her territory, she'll be so weak, even you guys can take her out. No sweat. You say you guys like you won't be there. I got noodle legs. I get winded if I run a block. Relatable. Every territory has its own god. The trick is to play home games, never away games. Anywho, tag's the only way to get rid of Turbo I'll bet there's Granny. an advanced level for that later. You remember how hard I trained for track and even then I still couldn't make the team? Who doesn't make the track team? They let everyone on. It's just running. The track team in her school is so popular they're turning people away? That's incredible. May I join the conversation about me now? Sorry, I forgot. Wait. Groon's got no wait. stamina at all. So she keeps She's right, I don't. And to hold his Granny at bay. Stone, I have to stick close to him. While they run outside of the So it looks like I'll be training the two of you now. We start tomorrow, so get some sleep. She's all the way from the beginning. Actually, four eyes. Get some reps in now. Oh, sure. <laughs> She's so young for a grandma. Well, I don't know. I need to apologize for something. What? Calling you the B word in the English dub. You saved me and killed the alien. I just want you to know that I'll do my best. So the next time something like that happens, I can save you. I don't want to disappoint you. And I don't want you to stop being my friend. That's sweet. It's kind of rough. I mean, there are these moments in life where you're suddenly made aware of all the ways you haven't been preparing, like getting your ass kicked, for example. I mean, it doesn't have to be physical or, or dangerous. Any new challenge that like suddenly appears and you fail at it, it's not necessarily a reflection of your worth or potential. It was just an unknown unknown. If I had to bet, based on what I've seen of Ken, I would I would bet on his potential. But it's understandable that he'd be rattled. Another element of that, though, again, I like worry about him. I mean, Momo's so nice, so he's lucky. There's a limit to how far you can push this thing of like, oh no, I'm gonna lose you as a friend because I'm so terrible. The unfortunate outcome of that is like you will lose people as a friend even when they actually kind of like you, which is why they're there. What it kind of sums up to is punishing people for goodness, which is always a tragedy. I really care about you and I, I'm your friend and I enjoy being with you, but you're unhappy. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I'm not a good enough friend. And then like something has started to become tainted. Maybe this is more obvious in romantic relationships. The whole like, you don't love me thing. It's not always obvious, but that is real poison. You only want to punish negativity. You never punish goodness. Look, I'm not disappointed in you. Don't overthink it. Please don't overthink it, yeah. Why'd you go and slam the door in my face before? She was overwhelmed. You are disappointed in me. I just said I wasn't, but right now, yeah. Yeah, this, this is going to make you disappointed. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. No, it's you a cycle. We're looping. Bad. 
during that fight. Oh, she just blasted right through that. Next time, I'll probably have to save you then, too. I'll get you a futon. You're sleeping out She here. handled that really well. There go our dreams of sleeping together. You're sleeping in the barn. I am. Sort of. <laughs> Can it? No. Uh, Where are we going with this? thirsty, so may oh, I have oh. some water? Y yeah, you are thirsty. We have learned that Shoma, the famous pop idol, has a sacred child. Called it. <laughs> Called it. Oh, the age. Yeah, Asian idol's gonna idol. Somebody owes someone an apology. The news is hot garbage these days. All your favorite idols are banging each other. <laughs> I don't care what they tell you. I don't care what press releases they make. Let's think about it for a second. A bunch of overworked, super hot teens and young adults in an enclosed bubble of the same events and same music shows and same award ceremonies who can only understand the lives and plight of each other, just choosing out of the goodness of their hearts and their obligations to their fans to be celibate. Also, none of them smoke, none of them drink. It's the real voices. They write all their music. Pick your fantasy. My friend has smoked with one of the biggest current trending Korean male singers. Shockingly, Idols too are human. The only way to let him do his business is for me to watch him doing it. Then watch. Uh, it's just number one. He can turn around. How does he even do number one? Is he capable of doing number one? I could use some ideas if you got them. Yeah, I got nothing. Diapers, adult diapers. Auras come in different colors. I can see them everything. <laughs> he has to hold his he urine through this if I exposition. I can grab them. Painful. When my powers first awakened in me, they were a hell of a lot more awesome than this. Suddenly, it was like whatever I imagined became. Yeah, there was a limiter broken in that moment. Maybe because she was in danger. Adrenaline is a hell of a drug. Close your eyes for a bit. No, I don't want the curse taking him over again. Use the force, Luke. You don't need the radar system. Reach out and feel. It. This is pretty cool. Is it working? Yeah, not really. <laughs> Don't go dropping loads in other people's houses. It's bad manners. Not if you're desperate. Yeah, what are you supposed to? What? Okay, well, at least we're running. Oh, it's number number two. Okay. I guess we're all going to the bathroom. She's just super weak to that name. I always wanted to have a paranormal experience. Like getting kidnapped by aliens. For real? But this sucks. I just want this curse to end already. Yeah, it kind of lost its fun at running. You got time now. The kid needs to get in shape, and that's gonna take a while. I hate that you have to watch me on the toilet. Yeah, get over you it. Think I like it. Uh, 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 Grandma, it's Turbo Granny. She's loose again. Grandma. Can you hear me? Wait, what? 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 Oh no, Turbo Granny can get revenge. I can curse anyone he looks at to death. No more playing around. That makes it so much worse. Uh, our training is not was not yet complete. Tell me everything that just happened. Brace yourself. You never listened to me, even when you were little. Okay, jeez. Sensing there's some baggage in this household. Momo, what? What is it? Oh. Watch over those two. Protect them. Why are we going by train? Because it's too far by bike, and we're gonna need all our strength to pull this off. I think at a certain point, you just gotta try to suspend your embarrassment. I mean, you've already, like, everyone watched you pooping. Costume's not so bad. You know, lean into it. It's a fun, interesting day in your life. And look at the bright side. You might die soon. Turbo Granny's gonna wish she never met me. I'm sorry I put you in danger. Not even. Stop apologizing. No way can I let that ghost tag hurt someone I care about. I'm coming, Turbo Granny. She's the I'm real Ken Takakura. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was very excited to see her kick Granny's ass. I guess that's next episode. Oh, well. Oh, and credit scene. You can't change here. Everyone on a train stand. Wait, don't, you're not supposed to take off the clothes. Fashion is the best armor for Gyaru. And looking fire is what hypes me up for a fight. <laughs> Okay. Sure. You're in a good mood. Yeah, isn't this fun? Not even. I feel like I'm about to puke. I mean, it is kind of fun, as long as you don't think about the fact that you're, you might die. That's kind of what I was saying. I mean, it is sort of fun. It's a, it's a very special day in your lives. Maybe the last day in your life. There's this feeling sometimes when things happen that are out of the ordinary, that sort of shake you out of your, your routine, your habitual thought patterns and existence, that feels sort of like you're waking up, that, or that you've been asleep recently. Suddenly having something really important in front of you just has a way of elevating your, your senses and your appreciation of, like, the little things in the moment and the things you experience and see on the way there. She also has this really cool quality I like where people are woken up by adversity. Some people who are pushed far enough, that has a way of triggering a real version of the sort of spiritual awakening stuff. It's like a limiter that's activated. It feels almost like she's been waiting for this for a long time.